a South African junior lightweight champion from 1983 through 1986. He held the WBA Junior Lightweight Championship from 86 through 91. He successfully defended that title 12 times all across the globe. Places like Puerto Rico, Panama, France, Italy, Spain, the UK, and the United States. He also held the IBF Junior Lightweight title in 1991. His pro record reads 45 wins, just one defeat, three draws, 21 KOs. From the modern category, 2009 Hall of Fame inductee, Brian Mitchell. Speaking of the Orlando, great speech, Orlando. They say it takes a real man to cry, and Orlando proved it today. A great professional fighter from Tyler Cash. Well, let me start off by saying that I was an amateur boxer for 10 years, and I was a professional for 15 years, and I think all that blood, sweat, and tears, and every second, every minute, and every hour on the road, and in the gym, and the sparring, and the cuts, and the heartaches, this is what it was all about. Today, I'm in the Hall of Fame. And I'm going to put my ring on right now and show you. Thank you. You guys have been actually overwhelming for myself and my family. It's been unbelievable. So Orlando made me feel like I want to cry now as well. Um, let me start off by saying boxing has been an amazing and awesome journey for me. It started almost 40 years ago when I was a kid of just nine years old. My inspiration was my father, who was a South African bantamweight champion, who was unfortunately passed away. And he was a champion in 1962 in South Africa. I fought about 110 amateur fights, and then I turned professional in 1981, winning the South African title and defending it eight times. 1986, I got my big break in South Africa at Sun City, when I, I challenged Alfreda Lane for the WBA Junior Light to a title over 15 scheduled rounds. I knocked him out in 10 rounds to become the new WBA champion. Unfortunately, there was many problems in South Africa at the time, and they placed sanctions on the country, and I was forced to fight out of my country. I was never allowed to defend my title in my own country, which was a bit sad, but that, that was just part of politics. I had 30 world title fights on the road, never ever at home that I defend my title. And uh, as you said, for in Puerto Rico, Panama, Spain, Italy five, five times, France, and then of course, my second home, the United States of America. <laughs> America's embraced myself and my family for many years. We lived in San Diego for a while. Two of my children that are sitting here, Candace and Nathan Mitchell, were born in San Diego. So we are a very, very Americanized family. And uh, by beating Tony Lopez in Sacramento made me a true American as well. I want to say that I'm very, very proud and very honored to be inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame. As I said last night in my speech, um, you can win. It doesn't matter what title you win in this world. It doesn't matter who you beat. I think until you've made this International Boxing Hall of Fame and you've got the recognition from your peers up here and you get this ring, that's when you know you've made it in boxing. Special thank yous, Ed Brophy, Ed, when Ed phoned me and he told me that it was going to be an amazing experience. Well, it's, it's, as I said, it's overwhelming, it's unbelievable the, the, the praise we get you and the credit we get you for the, the, the tough sport we compete in. Ed, thank you very much for inviting me and I'm coming back next year, by the way. To all those assistants of Ed's and to all his staff and to all you wonderful people from Canastota that have embraced us and given us your blessing here, we thank you. It's been a wonderful experience. I want to thank my family once again for traveling all the way from South Africa on that 18 hour flight. But this ring makes every second of that flight worth it as well. And this is for my family. Uh, last but not least, I want, to, I want to thank Rodney Berman, my boxing promoter from South Africa that made all these fights happen. And of course, Stanley Christodoulou, my good friend, that's been my support all along. And then finally, I want to thank the big boss up there. Thank you for the courage that you've given me.